subscribe, hit the bell, and let the haunting narratives begin. I am Dr. Shadows, where shadows have stories to tell. Chapter 1. The Inheritance The winding road stretched out before them like a serpent, disappearing into the dense forest that surrounded the small village. Gary sat in the back seat of the family car, his gaze fixed on the towering trees that loomed overhead. The air was heavy with anticipation as they approached their new home, an old house that had been left to them by a distant relative they had never met. As they rounded the final bend, the old house came into view, its weathered facade bathed in the fading light of dusk. Gary's heart skipped a beat as he took in the sight of their new abode, a ramshackle structure with ivy creeping up its walls and windows that seemed to stare back at him with a sense of foreboding. The car came to a stop in front of the house and Gary's family stepped out, their voices hushed as they took in their surroundings. The silence was deafening, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl and the rustling of leaves in the wind. It was as if the very ire around them held its breath, waiting to see what horrors awaited within. Gary followed his family up the creaking steps and through the front door, his senses on high alert for any sign of danger. Inside, the house was shrouded in darkness, the only light coming from the fading glow of the setting sun. The air was thick with dust and decay, and the floorboards groaned beneath their weight as they ventured further into the unknown. As they explored the rooms of the old house, Gary couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. Shadows danced along the walls, their movements sinister and unsettling. It was as if the very walls of the house held secrets, secrets that were waiting to be uncovered. But despite the eerie atmosphere, Gary couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement stirring within him. This was their chance for a fresh start, a new beginning in a place untouched by the outside world. Little did he know, however, that their arrival in the village would awaken something dark and malevolent, a nightmare that lurked in the shadows, waiting to be unleashed. Chapter 2. Strange Encounters The night hung heavy with an eerie stillness as Gary sat at his desk, the soft glow of his desk lamp casting long shadows across the room. Outside, the darkness seemed to press in on the windows, muffling the sounds of the forest beyond. Gary's heart raced with a mixture of excitement and apprehension as he pored over the old newspaper clipping spread out before him. Every rustle of the leaves outside seemed amplified in the silence, each creak of the floorboards a portent of impending danger. Gary couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched, that unseen eyes followed his every move from the shadows outside. Suddenly, movement caught his eye, a flicker of movement outside his window. Heart pounding, Gary held his breath as he peered into the darkness, his pulse quickening with each passing moment. And then, there he was, the neighbor, the grim grandfather, his silhouette looming against the backdrop of the night. The old man stood perfectly still, his eyes fixed on Gary's window with an intensity that sent shivers down his spine. Gary's breath caught in his throat as he watched the figure in the darkness, a sense of unease settling over him like a heavy blanket. For what felt like an eternity, the neighbor stood outside Gary's window his presence a silent threat that hung heavy in the air. And then, as suddenly as he had appeared, he vanished into the darkness, leaving behind an ominous sense of foreboding. Gary sat frozen at his desk, his mind racing with fear and uncertainty. What was the neighbor doing outside his window at this hour? And why did his presence fill Gary with such dread? As he stared out into the night, Gary knew that he had stumbled upon something dark and sinister, something that threatened to consume them all if left unchecked. And so, with a sense of trepidation, he resolved to uncover the truth behind the neighbor's strange behavior, no matter the cost. Chapter 3. Investigating the Unknown The village seemed to hold its breath as Gary delved deeper into the shadows that lurked beneath its serene surface. Armed with nothing but determination and a thirst for answers, he embarked on his quest to unravel the mysteries that shrouded their neighbor and the village itself. Gary's days became consumed with research, poring over dusty archives and yellowed newspaper clippings in search of clues. 
The air in the small library was heavy with the scent of old books and forgotten secrets, each page a tantalizing glimpse into the past. His fingers traced the faded ink, his mind racing as he pieced together the puzzle of the village's history. With each revelation, Gary's suspicions grew, like tendrils of darkness creeping ever closer. He uncovered tales of disappearances that had plagued the village for decades, whispered rumors of sinister rituals performed in the dead of night. And at the center of it all stood their neighbor, the enigmatic grandfather whose presence loomed over them like a specter of doom. But as Gary delved deeper, he found himself drawn into a labyrinth of deceit and betrayal where truth and lies became indistinguishable. The villagers spoke in hushed tones, their eyes darting nervously as they avoided his probing questions. It was as if they were all complicit in a conspiracy of silence, guarding secrets that were too terrible to speak aloud. Undeterred, Gary pressed on, driven by a determination to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. He knew that the answers he sought lay buried beneath layers of deception, waiting to be unearthed like buried treasure. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the village, Gary vowed to shine a light into the darkness and expose the secrets that lay hidden within. Chapter 4 Confronting the Shadows The night hung heavy with an oppressive stillness as the family gathered around the dinner table, the events of the day weighing heavily on their minds. Gary's suspicions about their neighbor gnawed at him like a relentless hunger, each passing moment driving him closer to the brink of madness. As they sat in tense silence, a sudden scream pierced the air, tearing through the darkness like a knife through flesh. With hearts pounding and adrenaline coursing through their veins, the family rushed outside, their eyes wide with fear and uncertainty. In the dim light of the moon, they saw their neighbor standing before them, his silhouette shrouded in shadows, a twisted grin spreading across his face. Stay back! Ben, the father, bellowed, his voice trembling with a mixture of anger and fear. What do you want from us? But the neighbor only laughed, his laughter a chilling cacophony that echoed through the night. With a swift motion, he produced a gleaming knife from the folds of his coat, its blade glinting in the moonlight. We're not afraid of you, Gary declared, his voice ringing out with a courage he didn't know he possessed. We know what you're up to, and we won't let you get away with it. The neighbor's eyes flashed with fury, his grip tightening on the knife as he advanced towards them, his movements predatory and menacing. In that moment, Gary knew that they were facing a danger unlike anything they had ever encountered before, a darkness that threatened to consume them all. With a surge of adrenaline, the family sprang into action, rallying together to defend themselves against the encroaching shadows. Ben lunged forward, his fists clenched tight as he grappled with their assailant, while Louise and Adelina stood ready to strike at a moment's notice. But even as they fought, the neighbor seemed to vanish into thin air, his presence a sinister specter that lingered in the darkness. With each passing moment, the tension mounted, the air thick with the scent of fear and desperation. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the confrontation ended, leaving the family shaken but alive. As they stood amidst the wreckage of their once peaceful existence, they knew that their ordeal was far from over. With the shadows closing in around them, they resolved to uncover the truth behind their neighbor's malevolent intentions, no matter the cost. Chapter 5 Unraveling the Nightmare The village was shrouded in an eerie silence as Gary and his family confronted their neighbor, the grim grandfather, in a final showdown. With each step closer to the truth, the air grew heavier, thick with tension and the stench of fear. As they stood face to face with the old man, his eyes gleaming with madness, Gary felt a chill run down his spine. This was the moment they had been dreading, the climax of their harrowing ordeal. With a voice filled with righteous anger, Gary demanded answers. What have you done? He cried his words echoing through the stillness of the night. The old man's lips curled into a cruel smile, revealing yellow teeth stained with blood. 
You dare to challenge me, boy, he sneered, his voice dripping with malice. You think you can stop what has already been set in motion? But Gary refused to back down. With a steely resolve, he stood his ground, his fists clenched tight at his sides. He had come too far to let fear dictate his actions now. As the tension mounted, a sudden movement caught Gary's eye, a glimmer of metal in the old man's hand. With a gasp of horror, Gary realized what was about to happen. In a flash of movement, the old man lunged forward, his knife gleaming in the moonlight. Gary's heart pounded in his chest as he braced himself for the inevitable clash. But before the old man could strike, a gunshot rang out, splitting the silence like thunder. Gary's eyes widened in shock as he turned to see his father, Ben, standing tall with a smoking gun in his hand. With a cry of pain, the old man stumbled backwards, clutching his wounded arm. The tide had turned, the balance of power shifting in an instant. As the villagers emerged from their homes, drawn by the sound of the gunshot, Gary realized that their nightmare was finally over. The truth had been revealed, the darkness vanquished by the light of justice. And as the first rays of dawn broke over the horizon, casting their golden light over the village, Gary knew that they had emerged victorious. They had faced their demons and survived, stronger and more resilient than ever before. As the shadows fade, thank you for venturing into the unknown with Dr. Shadows. Until next time, stay haunted. Like, share, and subscribe for more chilling tales. This is Dr. Shadows, signing off.